All right, welcome back to another video. And so we've done the eyelids, we've done the eyeballs, and let's see what we can do next. And what we've got are these stalks that come down and that attach to the body. And you've got to assume that these are like rather cylindrical and stuff. And one way of creating this is basically is just to, uh, you know, you can create a cylinder and just start modeling it. Another way is to create a curve. And then, you know, using the curve as a profile, we can actually uh, extrude the shape. Uh, so, you know, a couple of ways of uh, dealing with this, basically. Um, so, um, okay, so if you want to do the curve technique, which is a very popular technique, create curve tools and select an CV curve tool, click on the little box and make sure it says three cubic. And that's because it gives us a nice soft bendy curve, as you can see. So we'll probably just end it there. Uh, hit enter. So we're done with that one. What you can do is right click and select the uh, CVs, and you can actually move them about if you want to replace them. And so, yeah, I'm happy with the positioning. And so that's that one done. Grab the CV curve tool again, and we can do the same for this one here. So, boom, boom, boom down to about here all right there you have it and so what else can we do well we want a, um, a cylinder to use as a guide to extrude uh, along this curve and so boom there's your cylinder Let's bring it up now. If you hit the inputs here, 20 is a bit too much. I'm going to go with 12. And Control D, duplicate it, move it across because we need to do it two times. And basically, we can start dealing with this. And so, just kind of move it into a position. And there we go. Maybe just kind of bring it up a little bit like this, where just where the curve uh, starts. It doesn't matter if we're inside the eyeball, we'll deal with that later. Uh, something like that. Let's grab the curve as well, isolate it, and let's make sure it's more or less in the center. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the center. However, we can actually manage that. Hold down DV, middle mouse, and snap the pivot to the bottom of the cylinder here, right in the center. Can you see the uh, red square lighting up? Boom. And so that's where I have the pivot now. And then V, middle mouse, snap. It's not snapping because it's not recognizing this uh, CV point as a vertex and so what we want to do is hold down C and C means the curve so CV C not V C middle mouse boom and so as you can see by holding down C middle mouse we can actually slide the uh, cylinder along the curve and I'm going to slide it all the way up until it stops boom there we go so as you can see the curve runs directly into the center of the cylinder all right so just grab the bottom faces now i've grabbed too many faces so hold down control clip drag and it deselects there we go and so we have these faces selected hold down shift click drag select the curve so the faces are selected the curve is selected hit extrude boom there you go it just gives us a straight line and the reason for that is because if you take a look at the divisions it just says one so you've got the division at the beginning and a division at the end and so obviously the geometry cannot conform to the shape because we have no resolution to do so so the answer to our dreams is this divisions click on it drag and as you add more divisions the if you take a look at the geometry it starts to conform to the shape of the stalk here so there we go as you can see and so we'll do maybe five just to begin with for now and the reason for that is is because we've got to model it as you can see because the uh, stalk isn't just one size now one way to mitigate that and to make our uh, work a bit faster is if you scroll down here you've got taper click and as you drag you can actually make it thinner there you go so it saved us a lot of work but it does get thicker once it gets back here again but we'll deal with that so one thing at a time so there you have it basically we've basically blocked out the uh, the first stalk as you can see bom 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 
Right, okay, so obviously, you know, more work is involved than just this. This isn't finished. This is blocking it out. If you find that this is annoying and you're finished with it, just hit delete history and it's gone. Right, so we just basically need to do the same with uh, these two bits. So, uh, boom, where are you? Isolate. There we go. And again, uh, da -da 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 D to move your pivot. If you want to move it, that is, or just click on this to center the pivot. So if you hold down C, again, middle mouse, we can just drag the cylinder along the curve and it stops there. And uh, let's take a look. And it's not exact. And so what we can do to make it exact is like what we did last time. So D to move the pivot, V, middle mouse, snap it to the uh, vertex right in the center and then C middle mouse and we can slide this cylinder along the curve until it stops boom there you go right job done let's take a look and yeah let's get on with it and so again I did a, a click drag and I uh, selected too many faces so hold down control click drag to deselect the faces I don't want selected then hold down shift boom so we've got the faces selected the curve selected extrude and again it's just a straight line down and all we need to do is add some divisions there you go and then also go here uh, taper let's just bring it in there we go something like that all right so we're just blocking it out and there we go so let's grab both of these delete history center the pivot and we have blocked out the stalks and next video we will continue with them and finish them off and make them look really beautiful so see you next video